Okay, guys, I need you to do me a very quick favor. Do you see this glass of ice? Do you see this Coca-Cola can? I'm going to pour it into this cup, and I want you to tell me exactly what it is that you hear. Hold on. Did you guys hear that? That is the phenomenon known as fizz. And for some weird reason, Red Dragon decided to name a keyboard the fizz. I have no idea why, but nevertheless, let's get into it. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Kobe. And like I said, we're going to be talking about the Red Dragon Fizz keyboard, also known as the K617, which I feel like is a way better name for a keyboard as opposed to the Fizz. So what we're going to be doing is doing an unboxing, breaking it down, showing you what it comes with and how it looks, how it feels, how the RGB works and the whole nine to give you guys my take on this amazing 60% keyboard with a very weird name. Let's get to it. All right, guys, and here it is, the Red Dragon Fizz, or as I like to just call it, the K617, because I still think that Fizz is an absolutely ridiculous name. So let's just go ahead with the unboxing here. Just to let you guys know, um, this thing costs about $40 right now. Um, so just keep that in mind as I'm going through the unboxing process. So here we have the keyboard, of course. Let me just put that to the side and see what else does this come with. You do see that it comes with a USB Type-C to Type-A cable. It comes with a keycap and a switch puller. And I believe here, yes, these are just some extra red switches that it comes with. So let's just take this out and wow, my goodness. This thing is super light, you guys. Holy crap. This thing feels extremely, extremely light. Did not realize that coming in, but this is absolutely fantastic. It's so lightweight. There is a little bit of flex, if you can see. I don't know if you can, but there is a little bit of flex, but this is just really nice hard plastics. I love the color scheme that you get with this keyboard with the white and gray keycaps the entire housing is gray with some white accent there on the side i absolutely love the way this thing looks here in the back i have no idea what this tribal looking tattoo is but i guess it's kind of a nice thing that you can have back here some nice rubber stoppers and obviously some really nice feet very nice everything here is just straight up plastic there was nothing here that's metal aluminum nothing at all this is just a straight metal keyboard and i actually kind of like it just because for 40 dollars um you shouldn't really expect too much in regards to quality but this thing really does hold its own so let's just talk about obviously the keys because that's one of the most important things these are red linear switches not exactly sure the manufacturer of the switches but let's just see how they feel and they feel really nice actually oh the space is amazing i like it wait do you guys hear that huh i kind of so the keys obviously give you that very nice uh linear feel very smooth to press I have no issues with the keyboard, but in regards to these keys over here, the shift, enter, backspace, not the tab. Yeah. Oh, even the shift keys. It feels like there's like some sort of a dampener on it. Like if you can hear it. Yeah, like it, it, it sounds a little bit different. And I mean, when it comes to gaming, most of the time you're obviously going to be using the WSD, the R, like pretty much all these keys along with the space button, maybe the shift and obviously the control here, but enter shift backspace, they feel a little bit different. It's like more mushy in, in, a, in a way, not really sure how to explain it. 
it feels like there's some sort of a dampener on it. I kind of want to remove it to see exactly what is in the key. Let me remove the enter key, actually, because I'm kind of curious. Um, there really isn't too much to speak about when it comes to it. By the way, these are how the red switches look like. And I actually do like red switches. They're my favorite switches of all time, pretty much. But for some reason, these feel, these are, I guess, these are help for the extra force that's coming in. But I kind, I, I really like it. I'm kind of curious about the backspace as well, since I'm here, I'm at as well. Yes, yeah, pretty much the same system. I think when it comes to these specific uh, keys here, I guess they sound a little bit different in regards to the, uh, the way they are pressed. They feel and sound different. Um, I don't know if that's the point of the specific keys. I don't know if they did that intentionally. I kind of like it, but I also kind of wish that we had the option to press it like on these keys. Like if I could have the WSD keys press and feel like this, and I would absolutely like that. I still think this absolutely looks fantastic. It feels really great. Now, one of the downsides that I have is actually this uh cable that comes with it because if you can see and i don't know if the camera will pick it up well it's not braided um it's not sleeved it's just like that weird oh it's stiff let me let me actually try to remove this this feels extremely stiff and i do not like that usually i mean not usually but i guess most of the time when it comes to cables you know you'll you'll have a very nice feeling and looking cable i don't like it it just looks and feels very very cheap um, I guess you can say it's pretty long enough and the other drawback that I have is that the USB is on the side So that's why it's angled in this specific way So you can just plug it in like that and that's pretty much how it would look like when it's on your desk Now some people might like that other people might not I'm personally not a big fan I've used to having all of the wires either coming from on top here or from the middle the fact that it's coming from the side is unique I will give it that you know, it's a very nice take on a very small size keyboard, but I just don't like that. And I just don't like the way that these things, uh, this cable feels. It's very, very stiff. I don't know how it's going to be to straighten it out, to be honest. So that's going to take some time for you to get used to. So let's just plug in actually um, the keyboard and see what the RGB actually looks like over here, because I'm definitely curious about that. So let me go ahead and plug this in. Wow, guys, I did not realize this, but these keys are extremely, extremely bright. And I kind of like that. It's amazing that you can put such nice, vibrant lights in such a very affordable keyboard that it just this just looks absolutely fantastic. There's definitely some, I guess you could say some bleeding through if you're looking at it straight on. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I don't know if the camera will pick it up um, the same way you can if you're actually looking at it with your own eyes. But this is a very, very bright. Um, there are two ways you can change the RGB. You can obviously go ahead and download the Red Dragon RGB software, but I'm not a big fan of having extra RGB software in my computer. So luckily you also have the option of just changing it here within the keyboard. I'm not gonna go through all the color profile options cause that could just probably just take forever, but you can see that you can go ahead and try to change some stuff here. Put it into green oh this looks really nice and the fact that it's gray with white keycaps now the more i'm looking at it the white seems to be more of like an off white or like a lighter gray compared to the darker gray but either way the color combination looks amazing and depending on how you want to go ahead and try to change the rgb colors i think that this looks absolutely fantastic you guys i cannot stress out how much I actually like this keyboard. And I want to thank Red Dragon for sending this out to me. And you guys can go ahead and save 10% on your Red Dragon purchases on the Red Dragon website with the coupon code Colby's Tech. So you can save some money on this keyboard right here if you guys wish to do so. Thank you again, Red Dragon, for sending this keyboard out to me. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit like and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys all so much for watching and we will see you all in the next one.